Hi, my name is Chris, and the best day of my life was hearing my was the day I heard my son's voice for the very first time. When, about when he was a one year old, my wife and I had discovered that he had autism, um, and right at that moment, when we discovered that, we felt that we were judged by the world and God was somehow punishing us, and it made it hard for us to be able to attend church on a weekly basis because of how bad we felt. It made it very hard for us to be able to socialize with our own families and with our own friends because we didn't know what they would think or how they would feel. When he was about four years old, four or five years old maybe, up until that point he was actually nonverbal. This last November he was eight, he was eight years old. You know, he's still nonverbal at this point. He comes home from school. The very, fir very first thing I heard him say when I got home from work that day was, I'll never forget this, but he said, Dad, I love you. It was the very first thing he said. And that, <laughs> I cried. I I'll admit that I cried like a little baby. Just, the, just because it was the very first time I heard him talk. And I didn't want to let that go because I didn't know if it would ever happen again. About a week passed and he, we kept on hearing him say two word sentences, three word sentences and we just get better and better. And I think it was then that we realized that God was helping us in ways that we didn't know or understand or why. <laughs> but we couldn't be more thankful to him. And the best piece of advice that I can give is never give up hope in your children. Never give up hope in God. Never lose your faith. <laughs> because I felt like I was losing faith at that, by that point. But I'm so thankful to be able to have that gospel in my life. And to me, this is the gospel.